When Allied forces first laid eyes on the wreckage of a German Messerschmitt Mi-262 jet in 1945, shock rippled through the ranks. The engineer tasked with examining this strange aircraft scribbled a sentence into his report that would haunt Allied planners. This aircraft is at least 50 years ahead of anything we have. But as remarkable as the Mi-262 was, it was just one example among four astonishing weapons, each so advanced for its era that they seemed almost unreal, conjuring visions of a future that, until then, belonged only to imagination. Today, you're about to discover the four World War II weapons that rewrote the rules of warfare. A jet fighter that could outrun anything the Allies could field. A rocket that broke through Earth's atmosphere. The ancestor of every modern assault rifle. And a secret technology so effective, it quite literally saved London from destruction. By the end, you'll see why these innovations not only terrified enemy scientists, but also became the hidden foundation of our modern world. Imagine yourself in the cockpit of a B-17 bomber in 1944, engines droning as you cross the clouded skies over Germany. Suddenly, a metallic blur flashes by, a gray shadow flickering with orange fire at its wings. It's gone in an instant, moving far faster than any propeller-driven fighter you've ever seen. What you've just witnessed is the Messerschmitt Mi-262 in action the world's first operational jet fighter and perhaps the most fearsome aircraft of its time. While Allied engineers tinkered with piston engines and propeller blades, German scientists had leapt into the jet age. The Mi-262's twin Junkers Jumo 004 engines delivered nearly 2,000 pounds of thrust each, catapulting the aircraft to 540 miles per hour. That's almost 200 miles an hour faster than the legendary P-51 Mustang. In dogfight after dogfight, Allied pilots found themselves helpless, outpaced, and outgunned as this sleek machine carved through the sky. But the Mi-262 was not only faster, it was fundamentally different. Its engines were unlike anything the Allies had ever seen, using turbines and combustion chambers that wouldn't become standard elsewhere until a decade later. The Germans had, in effect, fast-forwarded aviation technology by a generation. The Mi-262 could climb higher, accelerate faster, and evade pursuit with ease. Its armament, four 30mm cannons, could tear through bomber formations in seconds. Yet, despite its revolutionary design, the Mi-262 was shackled by one critical flaw. Its engines weren't ready for the stresses of jet-powered flight. The high-temperature alloys needed to keep the turbines running simply didn't exist in wartime Germany. After just 25 hours of operation, the engines would burn out, leaving the aircraft grounded. Pilots flew with the knowledge that their machines were racing against the clock, relying on metallurgy that would only catch up years after the war had ended. Still, in its brief time aloft, the Mi-262 made a lasting impact. It shot down over 500 Allied aircraft, and even American ace Chuck Yeager was brought down by one. When the war ended, Captured Mi-262s became the blueprint for the jet fighter programs of both the United States and the Soviet Union. The jet age, once a distant dream, had arrived almost overnight. But as the Allies marveled at the jet's power, German scientists were already reaching even further, not across the sky, but toward the stars themselves. On October 3, 1942, at the secret testing site of Peenemunde, a thunderous roar shattered the silence. For the first time in human history, a man-made object soared into the edge of space. The V-2 rocket, a towering behemoth of steel and fire, climbed to an altitude of 109 miles, piercing the blackness above the atmosphere. This was three years before the atomic bomb, 15 years before Sputnik, and nearly three decades before humanity would set foot on the moon. In the midst of total war, German engineers had become the unwitting pioneers of the space age. The V-2 was no ordinary missile. Standing 46 feet tall and weighing 14 tons when fueled, it was powered by a complex liquid fuel engine, burning a mixture of ethanol and liquid oxygen. Its guidance system, a marvel of gyroscopes and analog computing, could make real-time corrections mid-flight steering the rocket to targets over 200 miles away with unprecedented accuracy. 
Incredibly, while American scientists in the 1940s were still experimenting with small, solid-fuel rockets, Germany was unleashing liquid-fueled missiles capable of devastating distant cities. The technological gap was so wide that the Allies, upon discovering the V-2, realized they were witnessing a weapon at least 20 years ahead of anything they possessed. But the V-2 was more than just a terrifying bomb. It was, in truth, humanity's first spaceship. It soared so high that it briefly left the atmosphere, crossing the invisible boundary of space before plunging back to Earth. The team behind it, led by the brilliant, controversial Werner von Braun, would eventually become the architects of NASA's Saturn V, the rocket that would carry Apollo astronauts to the moon. The road to the stars, it turned out, began not in peaceful exploration, but in the shadow of war. Even as rockets thundered skyward, another revolution was unfolding on the ground, one that would forever change the face of combat. In the muddy trenches and ruined cities of 1943, German infantrymen began carrying a weapon unlike any before it, the Sturmgewehr 44 or STG 44. Its very name, Assault Rifle, would become the template for every standard-issue military rifle that followed. The STG-44 solved a dilemma that had plagued armies for centuries. Traditional rifles fired powerful rounds over great distances, but their recoil made rapid fire impossible. Submachine guns could spray bullets quickly, but their short-range rounds were ineffective beyond 100 yards. The STG-44 bridged this gap. It fired an intermediate cartridge, the 7.92 by 33 mm Kurds, which was accurate and controllable at ranges up to 400 yards. Its selective fire mechanism allowed soldiers to switch between single shots for precision or fully automatic bursts for close combat. The result was a weapon that was both versatile and deadly, and so advanced that nothing like it would appear in other armies until the 1950s. The design of the STG-44 was so influential that it became the direct ancestor of nearly every modern military rifle. The famed AK-47, designed by Mikhail Kalashnikov, drew heavily on the STG-44's concept and features. The American M-16, the Israeli Galil, and countless other rifles can trace their lineage back to this single German innovation. The assault rifle, as a category, was born in the chaos of World War II, and its DNA persists in the weapons carried by soldiers today. Yet as dramatic as these advances were, perhaps the most secretive and transformative technology of all was one the Germans never even suspected the Allies possessed. Picture London in 1944. The city is under siege from above as V-1 flying bombs, the world's first cruise missiles, scream toward their targets. Anti-aircraft guns bark into the night, but hitting these small, fast-moving bombs is almost impossible. Suddenly, the odds shift. Shells begin exploding with uncanny accuracy, detonating just as they near their targets. V-1s are swatted from the sky before they can reach the city. Behind this sudden effectiveness was a technological marvel so closely guarded it was classified for years after the war. The proximity fuse. This tiny device transformed anti-aircraft shells into smart weapons. Inside each fuse was a miniaturized radio transmitter capable of emitting a signal and detecting the presence of a target nearby. When the signal bounced back, indicating that the shell was within lethal range, the fuse triggered the explosive. No timing, no guesswork, just instant, devastating precision. The proximity fuse was an engineering miracle. Its components had to survive the shock of being fired from a cannon, forces of over 20,000 times the force of gravity, and then operate flawlessly while spinning through the air at supersonic speeds. In a time when most radios filled an entire suitcase, Allied engineers had managed to shrink one down to fit inside a small artillery shell. The impact was staggering. Against enemy aircraft, proximity-fused shells were three times more effective than those with traditional time fuses. When used against the terrifying V-1 flying bombs, they were so successful that the German campaign to flatten London became futile almost overnight. The secret of the proximity fuse was guarded so jealously that even Allied ground troops weren't told about it, for fear it might fall into enemy hands. 
But the significance of the proximity fuse didn't end with World War II. The same principle is still found in every modern missile defense system, smart bomb, and guided munition. The idea that a weapon could sense its target and detonate at the perfect moment was a quantum leap, and one that continues to protect cities around the world. So why were these weapons so far ahead of their time? It wasn't just about clever ideas or bold engineering. Each was so advanced that the supporting technologies needed to make them reliable and mass-producible simply didn't exist. The Mi-262's jet engines required alloys and manufacturing techniques a decade away. The V-2's guidance system was limited by the analog computers of its era. The STG-44 could have transformed infantry warfare, but German industry couldn't build enough of them. The proximity fuse relied on miniaturization at the absolute limits of what was possible in the 1940s. These innovations didn't just help win or lose World War II. They set the stage for the next 50 years of military and technological progress. Every jet fighter, every space rocket, every modern assault rifle, every smart weapon, they all trace their roots to these breakthrough inventions. In times of crisis, innovation accelerates. The weapons of World War II weren't just tools of destruction, they were glimpses of the future. Some were too advanced to change the course of the war, but all of them ultimately changed the world. So, what other seemingly impossible technologies from the past turned out to be decades ahead of their time? Share your thoughts and discoveries, and let's keep exploring the hidden history of human invention. If you're fascinated by the incredible leaps made during World War II, there's even more to uncover. Stories of secret weapons so advanced they seemed like the work of science fiction, or perhaps, as some whispered, the handiwork of something not quite human.